uh, there's there's various different people that you that that are even on this channel that have used my cables and had bought them from me when I last opened up shop in uh, 2020. So maybe they'll write in the comments and tell you their thoughts on them if they've ever run into issues. However, I do in the simplest possible way of being open and transparent, want to be open and transparent with you. And so I'm going to be by testing my cables the way that I would want them tested if it was me. For our testing here, I'm going to be using the Shure SM7B, which requires 59 decibels of gain if you want to stay a little bit farther away from it. And if you want to hit good levels on it on something like a Sound Devices Mix Pre 6, which is where it's being recorded. Now, keep in mind here, there is 59 decibels of gain right here. So if I were to unplug this or even if I left it plugged in here, it is adding a lot of gain. So if there's anything there, you should be able to hear it. And I may end up boosting it in post if I go quiet. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I have not planned this out yet. But what I can tell you is I'm going to go for broke. I'm going to be testing not just the cable, which should be very resilient to any force of RFI or EMI here at my computer. But I'm also going to, like I said, go for broke and test the connector as well. Sorry, you're hearing all this handling noise. But connectors are a big place where radiation and electromagnetic interference seems to get in. And that's usually through the rubber boot and the solder points on the inside. So... If there's a place that it could potentially fail or be less resilient, I should say, it's going to be inside the connectors. But considering that the connectors are usually on the mic very far away from any source and in an interface, which should also be away from any major source of radio frequency interference, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Now, what I do have here is an EMF meter. If it goes red and it makes a little beep noise, that's an indicator that it's an unsafe level. That's usually for humans. So where I sit here, it's no issue. If I go over to the SM7B here, no issue. I mean, keep in mind that there is a magnet there and it's not going to pick it up because it's going to be a safe level. That's actually pretty, pretty good. Now I'm going to go over here and go toward the atoms. Ah, what do you know? It's beeping and it turned red. That means it's an unsafe level. If, you, if I were to like live right here in front of the speaker, then there would be a lot of EMF that it's going to be picking up. So here we go. I'm going to go near the computer monitor. There should be a lot of radiation coming from this thing, but surprisingly there's not. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, right down there. Okay. So near the bottom here, that might be even coming from the speaker. I don't know, but we'll know that down in the lower corner. How about up here? How about the E100? Nothing. LED. Okay. So the LED light up here is a source. This one should also be, yeah, back off here a little bit. How about the Mix Pre 6? Nope, that's good. How about the DBX286S? Okay, so when I get over to the right side near that LED, I wonder if that's LED leakage, EMF leakage, I wonder. I'm gonna go out here, go closer right at that LED. Hmm, let me go over here, get off of line with it. That's actually a pretty high level, that's pretty interesting. Okay, well anyway, you get the idea. I don't need to sit here and scan everything. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the cable over to it. And like I said, I'm going to go for broke here. And I'm going to disconnect the SM7B and connect up one of my 150 ohm XLR dummies. So that way, if there is any noise at all, you're going to hear it. And it's going to be probably extremely low in volume. So I'm going to be boosting it up but what uh, for you to be able to hear the noise. But what I will do on the screen is I will show you the level of the noise floor in real time. So as I'm continuing to talk, you're going to see what that level is as I'm taking this around. You're not going to hear me, but feel free to turn up the volume in order to hear this test.
So I don't know how those results are going to be, but in my headphones, since I don't normally turn them up extremely loud, it sounded really quiet. But there's one more test I'm going to do. If you watch my video about my upgrade to the Atom Audio A7X and the Sub 8, then you'll know that underneath my desk was supposed to be cleaned up by now, but I just haven't gotten around to it because life has gotten in the way. But there's wall warts over here. There's a couple of, you know, AC, uh, what is this, AC-DC converters, a bunch of hard drives. I mean, this this is wall wart city. I don't know if you can actually see that. I'm going to shine the light on it for a second, but there's a whole bunch of wall warts in this thing. I'll try to zoom in on it in post and let you see it. And there's an R, uh, a USB hub, cables going everywhere, all kinds of things, including this weird, you know, other thing right here, which is a hub. There's a lot of EMF and RFI down here. If I were to turn this little thing on for a second, you're going to see that it's going to, as soon as it comes on, it's going crazy. Let me see. Back it off. Now it's got a clear reading and it should start to pick up stuff here momentarily. There it goes. And I'm nowhere near it. If I go over here, everything. Oh, you hear it going faster, actually. Listen. slow what listen to it it's going to be hilarious hold on a second turn the mic towards it okay so right over there near that power oh geez those levels were high <laughs> Awesome. Well, that's going to be good for our test, isn't it? Um, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, trying to cover up anything here. Like I said, I'm being very transparent like I always am. So again, I'm going to disconnect the SM7B, put on the dummy resistor, and do the same thing we did before with the cable, then the connectors. Now, I don't think I need to say there's been no post-processing on this. All I did was bring up the level in post. That way you can actually hear the background noise level that we were dealing with there. But there you go. Complete transparency and me taking it over some very high EMI and RFI emitting gear. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.